Uh, hey, a guy goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, you gotta stop masturbating. He said, how come? He said, I'm, I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> My big mouth got me in trouble. I was uh, down, uh, I got in a little bit of a conversation. Well, it was a, a dialogue, a debate. I got in a debate, tiff. I got in a, t I got in a fight <laughs> with my television. Actually, it wasn't my television. It was on a tour bus bound for I don't know where because there was no real reason to look out the window because that TV delivered that cool, solid ocean sky blue that lets me know I'm modern. With my finger firmly planted on the pulse of these times, I was one with digital anticipation. I was going to be massively entertained. And that satellite was like a giant siphon sucking the greatest entertainment out of the cosmos and spewing it into my lap. I lay back and I caressed the molded plastic remote in my hand. This was my lightning rod, my ATM card, my NASCAR stick shift, my Harriet Tubman underground railway to endless hours of eye dazzling, ear throbbing, heart pumping, goosebump inducing TV programming. This remote was a lot bigger than mine at home. This was 80 bucks at least. This was like going from a moped to a Harley. I had the ability to fast forward and record few things in little boxes that were playing elsewhere, play those back with things I had recorded earlier. If I had a favorite celebrity, that TV would say, you better change the channel right now if you want to catch your David Hasselhoff shooting the breeze with RJ Leno in five different languages, sound surround, and enough pixels to shake a stick at, but you won't be shaking any sticks at any pixels, mister. You lay back and love your TV, but I couldn't get the fucking remote to turn the fucking TV on. I put in new batteries and it still didn't work. I pounded that power button like I was a Republican drilling for oil. <laughs> Combinations of settings, bypass and exit and select and guide and favorite and search and zoom and p-scan and 3D parental control v-chip, tracking and angle, and then a giant wave of insecurity overtook me. Maybe I wasn't good enough for this TV. I mean, after all, this wasn't my tour bus. I was just the opening act. That TV was smart. It was going to wait for the headliner to get there. And that's when I made my biggest mistake. I ventured over looking for the manual on and off button on the TV itself, and that TV burst out and said, what the fuck are you thinking you're doing? I said, I'm looking for the on and off button. He said, what do you think? I am an abacus? Are you going to wind me up with a crank or rub two sticks together for big and hot smoke to light on fire? Are you not aware of my colossal domain? I can empower. I can destroy. I can re-educate. I can eliminate history. I can distort facts. I can both face lie at will. I do it all day long. No one questions me. I can tempt you with products you can't possibly afford, bearing you in debt. You come running back to gaze at celebrities, to soothe you, medicate you. I will babysit your child. I am better than drugs. I fucking own you. My Fox News boasts fair and balanced reporting. It's not a news show at all. It's an entertainment show for far-right neocon political agenda. It deals in fear and hatred, doled out by egocentric spin doctors who care about nothing but their own greedy power, and us fuckers take it seriously. It's mind-boggling how stupid we are. I lay before that 65-inch clip with crystal wafer thin television with the integrated tuner, and I beg for mercy, please don't take my Girls Gone Wild videos away from me! I live for E2 Hollywood story into divorce court, and I find hope in the Lee Boswell hair replacement hour. I know I've offended you. Give me another chance. Geraldo with large burst on, and I lay back with my Red Bull and Cheetos. Thank God for redemption. Larry, the cable guy's up next, and then I'm going to pimp my fucking ride.
with the headphones to study the artiste. It's not in hearing voices. No, not like Judas Priest. Mostly from the old guys. Like a whisper in the back. Like Muddy Water saying, hey, it's on your back. Thank you.